Honda Cletus. Check this out. So guys, this is Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Chelsea Denofa, who are Formula D drift drivers. Incredibly talented drivers. I like how they made contact with the grass. It's fulfilling. These cars are very powerful, true race cars. These are an aspirated version with nitrous. They also brought two more cars that have Vortex superchargers. Should be somewhere around the 1,000 wheel horsepower range. They also brought two other cars that they use for burnouts. So this was a five race deal. Chelsea ended up winning out. Pretty technical course. Can't wait to do this exact same setup on my own. These guys had entirely too much fun. Gotta get the shot. These guys put on an awesome show. Incredibly talented. They have such control, so much power. Truly amazing to watch. And I'll be honest, I didn't really like drifting that much until I started to do it. And man, I'm hooked now. But watching these guys having an appreciation for what they do is truly amazing. They go through a set of tires in about two to three laps. At the end of the race, Chelsea won. did an impromptu dueling donuts which looked awesome. So Garrett removes the hood from Donnie, throws it off in the grass. More on that a little bit later. So this is where Adam LZ, Taylor Ray, and Garrett all battle it out on a freestyle drift competition. Garrett absolutely sent it. This thing was honestly truly, truly impressive to watch him just tear this thing up.
demanding amount of car control was awesome. So jealous I wanted to be out there so bad. I kind of decided to get into the Burnout Rivals thing a little too late and there was just not enough time to plan, but I'm so glad I was able to take part. In the freestyle drift competition, everybody had to clear out because anywhere on the property was pretty much fair game. So they kind of had to herd us all into one spot, and it was so wild to watch what these guys did. Now it was Adam's turn. Unfortunately, he popped the tire. Kind of hampered him quite a bit. He did have some big plans, and this was crazy. Jeremy's got his laptop out. He's doing a last minute tune of some crazy shenanigans. We'll see how this goes. But he's number five. We got this guy. What day? My money's on him. And the reason for that is uh, he wants a champagne bush light shower. So we're going to make that happen for him. Looking fresh. Got a nice straight exhaust now. Boys at the shop, they're real good. Look at that. <laughs> that stays that way. I don't want to mangle it all up. No, yeah, that was a lot of effort. Yeah! These are the cars that have gone so far. You can see the rotary is uh, steaming a little bit, but man, right now, beautiful night, beautiful sunset. This is just crazy. This is, a, he's ready to rock and roll with Uncle Sam.
thing was under the car. I had no idea what that was. It lies his flashlight. He's got to be super fast. <laughs> Hold on. That's unreal. Hold on. Does it work? I hope so. That's crazy, man. Yes! Yeah, yes! Right. That thing is really hot, to be honest with you. That was on the K-frame. Unbelievable. Dude, that is wild. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really surprised that the coolant did as good as it did and everything seemed to be honestly as good as it was. And quite honestly, I thought that it popped a tire, but it was the no, tread's you, coming off. Dude, your tire's all over here. If you look at your tire, it's a balloon. It's like a, if you look at it, it'll just pop right now. I actually got a video of it. It flew in and it was still smoldering right here. Dude, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Your style. I like it. Big fireball. Bro, you were out there for like 20 minutes. Didn't it feel like that? I literally got bored. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro, you are fearless. You got this. Come on, man. Go! So glad to have Brent back in town, man. Dude, you're a beast, man. Come on, you got this. Love you, dog. freaking wild.
already burn out? Guys, it was such a blessing to be able to be a part of this, and I can't believe we did as good as we did. Uh, looking back at what we had, it's, we're actually this far away from being just maybe a place or two above, but man, Brent really sent it, and congratulations to him. Seeing Vaughn and Chelsea do their thing was incredible. These guys are really a master of their trade. Guys, if you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, we are very close to 350,000 and Laz has got all of his parts together. We're trying to be able to, once we hit 350,000, Laz is gonna get all the stuff on his truck. It's an awesome goal. I can't wait for him to finally have something that's a little quick. Totally deserves it. Also check out our Instagram. I put a lot of stuff out on there that is kind of a preview as to some of what the videos are and or exclusive stuff that's not necessarily going to make it to YouTube. So guys, stay tuned. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. I cannot wait to share that with you. There's some really weird stuff that happened to Miata and you gotta check this out. It's probably never going to happen to, I don't know, any of you. We'll have to wait and see what that is in the next coming episode. Guys, do check out our merch. Remember this month of June, we are still giving away two MPVI2 HP tuners. You got to check out the link in the description. And I thank you guys so much for supporting us for what we do. Because without that, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. God bless you guys. We'll see you next episode. Oh, forgot also one more thing. Last, uh, I haven't recommended a song for a little while here. So I'm going to do something that's a little bit, uh, a little bit different here. Check out David Starfire. And the song is Shapeshifter. Really weird. Odd. I don't know. I just like it. I think you guys should check it out. See ya.